What's up YouTube? Tonight I have a full five nights at Freddy's team. Now this was one of the most uh, highest voted teams in my previous video. I haven't actually got around to making it until now, but here we go. Uh, if you've got a team theme you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comment section. Go highest thumbs up comment in the comments. We'll, um, I will definitely cover. Uh, there's another one that I'm actually working on at the moment that was from a previous video. I haven't quite made all that yet, but that should be the next one. Um, I've got some normal Wi-Fi battles going up in the next few days as well, so I'm going to cover them and I'm going to still keep my little theme battles going. Okay, if you like this video, please click the like button. That would really help out as well if you enjoy these. Okay, um, so we've got a nice mixed tier battle here, and I did my best to recreate the characters in this game uh, with the Pokemon, so get this one going. This was a rather interesting battle as well. Um, we'll get to that in a sec. Okay, so I've got my Drifloon as a lead, as Balloon Boy. So I thought that was quite fitting because it's a balloon. Okay, um, this is just a Drifloon lead. It's quite decent, actually. Um, I thought I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball there because uh, Sandshash doesn't have the greatest special defense. He's going to set up the Stealth Rocks there. I'm actually running Defog on this set, which works really nicely because um, I can just clear all the traps away on the field. So that worked perfectly. Um, it's got Aftermath as well, so... That's very handy if you want to get a little bit of damage there. Sanchez is going to uh, take me down to my Focus Hatch, which is kind of fine with me because I'm running Destiny Bond on this thing. And so I'm able to just set that up. And if Sandslash hits me, he's going to go down as well, which he does. So perfect little lead there. Not only do I avoid uh, those Stealth Rocks uh, by clearing the field, Oh, I got Aftermath Boost there as well. I, I, could have, I could have used Shadow Ball just in case you use something different like Toxic to, to, to avoid the Aftermath or anything like that. I, I thought it's best to go for Destiny 1. So we got a double KO lead there. So it's 5 all. That, that's not too bad. I got I buried Sanchez. Um So out comes Bonnie. I decided to use uh, Bunnelby instead of Diggersby. Um, just because I wanted to. Went for Quick Attack there. Didn't know if this Dead Any was going to be Scarfed or Specs. But uh, it goes for Volt Switch there. And I live, which was nice. Um, I was... I was happy with that. I got some damage on Dead and he wasn't too sure it was item, but I, I, well, I know I run minor scarfed or specs, um, so that's why I went for quick attack. Well, okay, um, I'm expecting an Aqua Jet here from for Alligator. Now this is a very bulky, um, like Cofferigus. It's got great stats. Now uh, the reason I named this Marionette because if you look at the little, you can see the little uh, goldish face on there. I thought that was uh, the best resemblance of it. Uh, as I could, or he could have gone Mega Burnett, but I didn't really want to go Mega Burnett. I wanted to try this out. Okay, so I've got Will-O-Wisp running on this thing. Obviously, Nidoking's going to swap into that. It's going to be a special set, obviously, because why would you swap it in? Uh, at least I get a bit of damage, though. That wasn't too bad. Um, I don't really want to take anything Nidoking throws at me, because it's pretty damn strong uh, with sheer force, life orb, uh, in special attack. Okay, uh, he fires off that sludge wave there. I didn't have a steel type, unfortunately. I take that really badly with Chica. But uh, the good thing is here, I can easily go for a Protect and get a Speed Boost up. I'm running Adamant Nature instead of uh, Jolly, but I decided to go for Adamant instead. Okay, so a little bit more damage there for Nerdy King. Now, I don't have any moves that are guaranteed 100% accuracy except for Flare Blitz, so unfortunately I'm going to have to go for that one, and I know that I'm going to take myself out, but I have to get rid of Nerdy King at the same time because he's a, a big, big threat. So that's Nerdy King down, and... What do you know? That's a that's a double KO again. So that's two double KOs already. Okay, so um, that was a bit of a bummer losing Kabuskin that early, but uh, that's how it is. I got rid of the Nidoking. King. I was pretty happy with that. Okay, uh, into Marionette again. Now I was thinking, well, let's go Pain Split here because I know I'm going to take some damage from Deadeny, and I get critted by Volt Switch, which is which is which is good because I use Pain Split, so I'm on a lower amount of health. So that means I'm going to suck more health out of the next Pokemon that comes in. And this is going to be for Alligator, thinking that I don't have it, but that's going to give me lots of health back there. So that's nice. And I did a decent chunk to for Alligator too. Um, I decided to go for Will O Wisp again because for, for Alligator was definitely uh, not going to be able to take me out in one shot. Uh, unfortunately, that misses Deadly. Deadly is going to go. The Thunderbolt trying to take me out, obviously knowing that I'm very defensive. Uh, Nightshade was my best god to fashion here. I just wanted to do some damage to Dedeny, um, and I'm going to go down to the Thunderbolt. But that was pretty good. I was quite happy with that set there and that face. Oh my god. I get credit again. God damn it. Okay, that's, uh, that's down. Now, I was thinking, well, they're not going to stay in because I already know that I've got Quick Attack. 
so I, my, my best option here would be to just U-turn out of here and send something else in, and I can maybe set up my Freddy then. Uh, so I U-turn out here, knowing that I'm going to switch, obviously. That's a nice little chunk to Mill Tank. Um, I'd say Mill Tank's going to be is very specially defensive as well. Normally always is. So into Freddy here now. This is um, a guts Earth Ring. I normally run quick feet, uh, but I want to try out guts today. Um, it's a lot slower, but man, it hits hard. Okay, uh, so I got my flame orb up. I'm just going to fire off a facade instead of a close combat because facade is not going to give me any defense drops or anything. Uh, obviously, Mill Tank outspeeds me. Mill Tank is surprisingly fast for being a tank, and that absolutely destroys Mill Tank. And that's great getting that thing out of the way. Very happy with that. Okay, a little bit of damage there from Flame Orb, but I've got over half health, which is decent, so I might be able to get one more attack off. In comes a Denny, which I believe is definitely Choice Scarf. Um, Thunderbolt is going to let me live with full health. I was like, yes! And I was able to take Denny out there as well, uh, which is great. So that's Denny down, and that's my Ursa Ring down. So that's a triple double KO. Um, man, <laughs> it's crazy. You don't often see that talk um, many times. Okay, uh, that's uh, our comes for Alligator again. I thought, well, Delphox is my best option here because I know that I've got for Alligator and Avalug left. If I send in. Um, there's no point in me sending in my other Pokemon. So Aquajet is going to hit me really hard. I take that with about three cores of health. I've got HP Grass on here, thank God. And that's going to destroy for Alligator and take him out there uh, for some good damage. Now, uh, the last Pokemon left is Avalug. And I know that it's going to have Sturdy. Well, most have Sturdy. So I had to take into account that this thing would have Sturdy. So I've got Flamethrower here. Um, that's going to take it right down to its Sturdy, which is... Yeah, good, because I know that I've got one more Pokemon left. Um, I take a little bit of the Life Orb damage. That's going to hit me with Avalanche. Um, Avalanche is really strong on this guy, too, even if you resist it. And uh, that's Foxy down, but that, that's fine. Uh, that was nearly uh, that was nearly four double KOs there. <laughs> it was very close. Um, okay, so Avalanche's got lefties there, which is only going to restore a little bit of health. My last Pokemon here is Bonnie. Um, I've got Quick Attack, but I wanted to go for Frustration because I knew they didn't have, have any like priority moves. And that is going to take Avalug out, and that is game. Man, that was a close game. It was fast, but it was close. And there was three triple KOs in there, uh, double triple KOs at the same time. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, guys, if you've got a theme team you'd like me to use, leave it in the comment section. This one was a lot of fun. Um, it was a nice close battle, too. I had a couple of battles with this team. Um, I had some real... Just wipeouts where I, I won too easily with Del Fox and Earth Ring. Then, um, so I thought this was I'm just upload the closest battle I had with this team, and it was very close. Oh, I'll just quickly go through my sets uh, if you're interested to know what they are. So my Drifloon, that was uh, just a leading Drifloon. That was d a defog, obviously for traps and stuff like Stealth Rock spikes, everything like that. Um, I had Shadow Ball just for just for some damage. It doesn't hit too hard, but if you can. If you can hit a Pokemon that doesn't have the greatest special defense, it does some nice damage. Um, I've got Destiny Bond, and my last move on is Tailwind as well. So if you know you're going to get outsped the first turn, say if they attack you, right, and that brings you down to your Sasha. This is regarding, regardless of the thing. If they have priority, well, you're screwed. You don't stay in. But if, they don't, if you know that that's a Pokemon that doesn't have any priority, uh, you can set up your Tailwind, then you can just Destiny Bond them and just completely... Get them out of the match too. Um, just an eye for an eye. It's not bad. Um, Bottle B is a choice scarf set um, with huge power. It's pretty strong, but it's quite frail, so you just have to watch out using that. And it's got quick attack for a bit of priority as well. As even with choice scarf adamant, you're not going that um, you're not going that fast. And uh, re you really need adamant because even one or two more points is doubled, so I had to run adamant. Um, now we've got Marionette, that's a uh, max HP, max defense set with Everlight, it's very bulky. Uh, the only thing that lets it down is it's uh, just really bad health uh, there. So we've got Pain Split on that one, we've got Knock Off, um, Nightshade, and we've got will o -Wiz. so it's, it's quite decent. Um, Combuscan is just a normal speed boost, uh, speed boost or dance set. Um, Delphox is a nice uh, special sweeper with Calm Mind, and Ursa Ring is a Flame Orb gut set, which is bloody scary if you ask me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's about it for my team. If, if you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Now, um, as I said, I'm working on one more team that I've got for a previous video, but I need some new suggestions, guys. Any movies, any things you'd like to see, put them in the comment section. As I said, if you see a comment in the comment section you would like to see, make, just click thumbs up on their comment, and uh, I will notice it. I go through all the comments. Um, that's about all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. 
for watching my videos. Peace out.